What's going on, guys? Welcome to Behind the Pages, the podcast where we talk about worship in life, music, and poetry. I am your host, Edward Wiggins, and I am at the lovely Camp Eagle. Um, I was blessed enough to be able to come out and serve with the kids and serve with the youth. So I recommend it to everybody. If you wanted to come to Camp Eagle, definitely do that. But um, this year, we were talking about um, King David, and so far, we've gone over uh when his early days as a a shepherd boy and uh now and where we are at currently we're actually on day two and we're actually in the middle of his kingship in the middle of his monarchy but um one of the things that stood out to me thus far is that i came into this knowing the story of david and one of the things that um i prayed when i was coming to camp was Lord, I know this is for the youth, but I want to be able to know, I want to be able to hear God more. I want to be able to hear you more in this story that I've heard hundreds of times. If you know anything about the story of David, you know about his rise to the monarchy, how he was anointed over Saul and how um, Saul failed God because of his disobedience towards God and Samuel anointed David. And so in the midst of Saul's kingship, in the midst of Saul's reign, David was anointed king by God, but David, because of his honor towards God and because he recognized that Saul was God's anointed, David ensured that he did whatever it took to protect the, in this case, man of God, the person that God had stated there. So David showed his humility and uh, one of the stories that we also went over was uh, David and Goliath and David with that what stood out to me on that one was um, God anointed David's weapons so if you remember what if you remember the story David came in there with a slingshot and some smooth rocks and smooth rocks don't hurt anybody like if you think about it if something is smooth it's not jagged if it doesn't have like a point to it it's not going to penetrate anything but god made sure that not only did the sling did the rock hit its target when david slung it at goliath but it also penetrated demonstrating god's greatness demonstrating that god was on david's hand god was on david's life and God's hand was on that rock to make sure that David stood firm, make sure that David won that battle and make sure that he was glorified. So a couple of things that I wanted to pull from this, and I won't be before you guys long, but a couple of things that I wanted to pull from this. First and foremost, just like me, when you're coming into a situation, when you're coming into a thing in the Bible that you've read over and over and over and over again, you know the story. We know the stories of Moses. We know the stories of Noah. We know the stories of Abraham. But always go into it, first and foremost, praying, asking God, look, Lord, I know this is something new. What, or this is something I've always heard. What can I learn from this now? because the word of God is ever pregnant, right? So the first thing you wanna do is come into it with um, a mindset of willingness to learn something new because the Holy Spirit is always revealing something to you. And then number two, with the story of David and Goliath, you want to go into every situation trusting God because David didn't go in in and of his own power. David went in there expecting God to do something. He went in there fighting on God's side, not in and of his own strength, not trying to glorify himself. Even when he became king, he continued to glorify God. That was his whole aim. So again, two things, make sure whenever you go into the Bible, you're looking for you're looking for the Holy Spirit to show you something new about what you've already read. And then number two, whenever you go into a situation, just make sure that you are trusting God and going into it in God's name, in Jesus's name, and not in and of your own strength. Because in and of your own strength, you will always fail. But when you're going into it with in Jesus's power, in Jesus's name, you will always succeed. What's going on guys? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that way you can get notified of when I make new videos. As always, I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.